Hello Junkies! It's been a while since my last post, so today I wanna show you some progress on the Pinky Controller firmware and WRX tail lights that will work on top of it. Let me show you my development setup first. This is a WRX tail lights board, it's a running light and turn signal parts. They are completely independent and today I will gonna show you only running light chunk. Three power sources connected to this board now. One for running light, one for brake and one for show mode indication. And as you see, the USB cable connected to the special connector on this board. Let's move to our WRX project in the 2S GUI. Let's imagine we want to be something different from any our WRXs. So we need to set up running light and brake light to fulfill our needs. First of all, we will set up our running light startup animation as a quick fade in from zero to half brightness and we will disable every second segment to have our line dashed and not straight like on any other car. The starting type of animation without cycling is perfectly works in this case. Next thing that I want to add is some kind of fancy glaring animation of individual beats every 10 seconds and delayed animation on the same running light works pretty fine in this case. We are done with running lights now and we will move forward to the brakes. The first of all we need to add some kind of F1 brakes animation that will blink two times after the brake pedal will be pressed. In the same time we will add ending brake lights animation so it will show us that brake light is over. And this kind of animation will simply run out all LEDs to the zero brightness. And we will add simple animation for the show mode that will override any other modes and will run in cycling till the power will be present on the show mode pin. We have our development set up. Uh, we have a project ready, so we need to try it. Currently controller flashed only with bare firmware without any sequences. So if you will try to send some signals to it, it will remain silent and will not respond to you with any lights. But we will fix this now. So I gonna connect now the controller via USB cable to the laptop, switch to the upload tab and upload our sequences to the controller. After flashing is done, we gonna power up our controller and test all the modes with things that we created in our project. As you see, everything works nice and smooth. But what about changes? So, uh, let's imagine we are tired of dashed line and want it back straight like any other car have. We will go back to the editing of running light startup animation. We will enable all previously disabled channels and we will re-upload our sequences to the controller.
As you see, after new sequences upload, we have straight line of LEDs on the running light without any gaps between the segments. So basically this is it. The firmware is pretty stable now and only one thing that I need to add is documentation and some kind of description how all this stuff works. But for now, I'm pretty fine with achieved results and hope you will like it too. Thank you for watching.